In this video, I'm going to talk about pseudo unipolar cells. So I will write this at the top pseudo unipolar cells. Oops. And these cells look like this. So we have our dendrites right here and a few connections and then we have a very long so i'm drawing these two lines like in a graph that you don't know how long this is it could be very long or pretty short um, which then connect down to here and this is a little weird anatomy it kind of has a cell body right here which connects and then travels back down and once again don't know how long this is and it connects down to the um, the axon terminals down here so let's say it's like this so these pseudo unipolar cells are variants of bipolar cells that carry somatosensory information to the spinal cord so uh, during development the two processes of the embryonic bipolar cells fuse and emerge from the cell body as a single process that has two functionally distinct segments. Both of these segments function as axons. One extends to peripheral skin or muscle and the other to the central spinal cord. So you have these different cells. So I'm gonna label this really quick in white here. So you have your dendrites. Um, you have your soma. Um, you have your peripheral axon to skin and muscle um, you have your right here you have your single um, your single bifurcated process And down here, you have your central axon, which should be after this. So central axon. And down here, you have your axon terminals. So this is a ganglion cell of the dorsal root.